Hello, we are watching the news broadcast daily and following are today's highlights. National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung begins Friday official visit to the Republic of Korea. The 60th anniversary of Cuba's armed attack on the Moncada military barracks marked in Benche province. Gotu ethnic people living in the central province of Guangnam promote community tourism. National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung and his entourage arrived in Seoul on July 21st, beginning a four-day official visit to the Republic of Korea. Right after setting foot in the country, Chairman Hung met staff of the Vietnamese Embassy and overseas Vietnamese community here. He affirmed that the party and state always care about the overseas Vietnamese community, including those in the Republic of Korea. He expressed his hope that the overseas Vietnamese will continue to act as a bridge for strengthening the friendship, strategic cooperation and partnership between the two countries while making active contributions to the national construction and development. The top legislator asked the Vietnamese community in the Republic of Korea to continue giving comments on the revised 1992 constitution and the country's other important issues. As scheduled, Chairman Hung will hold talks with the host country's Speaker Kang Chiang Hee and meet with Prime Minister Chung Hong Won on July 22nd. A ceremony was held in the southern province of Binh Che on July 21st to mark the 60th anniversary of the armed attack on the Moncada military barracks, which kick-started the Cuban Revolution. Addressing the ceremony, Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Võ Thành Hạ, emphasized that the attack on July 26, 1953, by a group of 135 young patriots led by Laura Fidel Castro, ushered in an armed struggle for independence and freedom of the island nation. Hạ said a village in Binh Che province was named after Moncada as a symbol of the solidarity between Vietnam and Cuba. Cuban ambassador to Vietnam, Pedes Mantura Gonzalez, said the assault was a milestone in the Cuban armed revolution, which enabled his country to reach various socio-economic achievements. He stressed that the Vietnam-Cuba friendship established during the two countries' struggles for national independence will be further developed in the coming time. The Vietnamese edition of a two-volume memoir on the fighting career of former Cuban President Fidel Castro Ruz was unveiled in Ho Chi Minh City on July 20th. The debut is part of activities to mark Cuba's 60th Moncada uprising anniversary. The book gives readers a full and honest account of the last period in the national liberation struggle of the Cuban people against the Batista dictatorship, the challenges faced by the Cuban leader and his efforts to uphold ethical principles of the Cuban army. Cuban ambassador to Vietnam, Fidel Mantiro Gonzalez, noted that the book, written by Fidel himself, is a precious asset and must see reference for those who are keen to learn about the revolutionary history of Cuba. At the event, a copy of the book, printed on the paper and put in a lacquer box, was sent to the former president as a gift on his 87th birthday. Deputy Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc on July 20th visited and presented gifts to war invalids and martyrs' families in the northern province of Bắc Giang on the occasion of the war invalids and martyrs' day, July 27th. Speaking to war invalids living at the Lạng Giang Care Centre, Deputy Prime Minister Phúc said the party and state always bear in mind the great contributions of war martyrs and invalids during the national construction and defence. He praised the centre's staff for their efforts to take good care of the war invalids. He also commanded the provincial party committee and authorities for their measures to improve the material and spiritual lives of war invalids and those who have rendered contributions to the nation. 
The deputy prime minister also visited heroic mother Nguyen Thị Kính, whose husband and only son laid down their lives for the country in Đông Nghè village, Dĩnh Chi commune, Bắc Giang city. The campaign Say No to Nylon Bags has been implemented in many localities across the nation. In Kulao Cham, an island commune of Hoi An town in the central province of Quang Nam, the activity has seen practical results. Since the campaign was launched in mid-2009, Hoi An has offered free self-destroying bags to local people and tourists. It has also provided nearly 3,000 plastic baskets free of charge for islanders. In addition, Hoi An has held a range of activities to support this campaign, such as riding and walking for the environment, opening shops with our nylon bags, and presenting awards to units and individuals with outstanding achievements. The world-renowned event, Day Without Plastic Bags, also provided good opportunities for Hoi An to recover and promote its craft villages that produce environmentally friendly bags. Co to ethnic people living in the western area of Quang Nam province have made their vast land of high mountainous and thick forests a potential tourism attraction based on traditional cultural values. In 2011, Bo Hong village of Song Kon commune and the Hong Rong village of Dalu commune in Dongzhang district were selected to implement a tourist promotion project in remote districts of Quang Nam province. The project has contributed to the conservation and development of their tangible and intangible cultural values. The natural beauty and local culture, along with traditional dances, gong performance, food and brocade weaving, helped attract tourists and investors to the land. More than 50% of Koto ethnic households in Beho Hong village live on traditional brocade weaving. For many generations, Kutu ethnic women have planted cotton trees, spun fibers, dyed and weed clothes for their whole family. With clever weaving skills, they have created the unique culture of the Kutu ethnic group. When tourists come, we can teach them how to weave. It makes them happy and come more often. In the past, the Kutu ethnic group lived alone and suffered from poverty. Now, thanks to the government's policies, our life has been much better. As a village patriarch, I encourage people to work hard and take part in community tourism to develop their family economy. Foreign tourists come from many countries such as the US, France, the UK and Japan. They try the food and visit the traditional houses of Gato people. Tourists visiting the Koto community can taste Ziu Gan, local wine, which is made of forest produce. Communication skills classes and tourist guide training courses have opened to help Koto people better communicate with visitors. Frog stories, music and traditional arts have been also restored. Community tourism is a new model in our district. We often meet local people to help change their mind on tourism development. We explain that tourism will help improve their lives. The central province of Quang Nam is now promoting a program to develop the tourism brand of the legendary Ho Chi Minh Trail. However, in order to benefit from community tourism, it is necessary to have the involvement of authorities at all levels, particularly the tourism sector. That comes to the end of our news today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.